Well, we're quite nervous. David and Allison are a couple of local filmmakers who could be on their way to getting an Oscar. The pair recently found out they've been shortlisted for their film, Animal Behavior, in the category Animated Short Film. Obvious. Why doesn't she just stop being such a parasite and give the guy a break? No, I, mean, I can't live without Michael. It's a 14-minute animated short that takes place while a group of animals undergo some group therapy to discuss their issues and try to resolve them. Animals have similar issues as people. Um, but we don't judge them for it, we just accept it. So we just thought, what, you know, what would happen if they, they were judged and uh, had to deal with these issues in the same way. Some of the characters include a leech who suffers from separation anxiety and a praying mantis who can't keep a man. Allison says the film opens a door to talk about serious issues in a way that's comedic too. And it's, n it's never easy to come up with an idea, uh, especially for a short film, because it's a one-off um, film that you, you know, you'll take quite a while to make, so it's very precious. Victor, I think you should sit down. <laughs> I'm gonna I Now, this creative duo also happened to be husband and wife, and even received an Oscar for their work 20 years ago. And no surprise, David says a lot has changed in the last two decades. I think there's more competition out there these days because there's more people making short animated films, there's more shorts that are funded by big studios. The fact that we can do things digitally now is a huge bonus because it's like, it's akin to working with a word processor to type instead of a typewriter. You can copy and paste and hit the undo key. Even then, David and Allison had to painstakingly create the entire film frame by frame, taking about two and a half years for the animation alone. At the heart of it, it's the story and the characters which are key. Um, to uh, an audience uh, appreciation of a film. They'll find out if they're official Oscar nominees on Tuesday. In Vancouver, David Zura, City News.